that's pretty much right. true. Um, What's up? Doubles is starting now. Doubles is starting. Yeah, doubles is starting. Doubles is starting. Um, God damn. F1, F2. Oh, What's shit. that one? God damn. And then there's partner info in the bottom. Sick. And what, are they sitting up there? Hopefully. All right, cool, cool. Should probably get them another chair. Or two. Oh, yeah. Can we just get a... Uh, oh, I'll get my PA. Hey. Can you just... Yeah, yeah. Another two chairs. Awesome, sweet. All good. So I just tell my PA. You do know they can see... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can they see us right now? No. Oh, okay. They can't see us right now. They can now. Ah, oh, sick, sick. But they can see the setup. You know, you, would you believe it that I, I, I have no yeah, idea about anything about melee? Would it, would it surprise you if I said the same? Ah, oh, sweet, awesome. <laughs> so we're just two like dickheads watching this fucking shit. Yeah. Hey, it's Josh Man. I see. Kaylin. Hey, Josh Man. Uh, hey, Josh Man. <laughs> I know that guy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Thursday. yeah. Me too. Yeah, I love that guy. I love met that him guy. on Thursday. <laughs> sick as. But yeah, I'm a CS boy. Oh yeah, I play CS. I stopped playing it though because it made me want to kill myself after a little bit. But like you know, it's what it does to you. It breaks a man. Yeah, you play Valorant every now and then. I can't be fucked. I played I played CS and I got like gold over four, and then I got to that point and then I'm like I can't, oh, I can't be asked. If I put too much evidence, I get too like angry and pissed off, and it's yeah. like oh I want to like play games to like relax. Yeah. And you just don't relax ever. But what if you're all relaxing is getting angry and pissed off? Mm, I think that's a bad way to live. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to fulfill your free time with that shit, it's like, what's the fucking point? But it's like, what if, hypothetically, yeah. right? Hypothetically, you spend all day taking shit. Yeah. From, like, boss, from co-workers, from customers. Yeah. And you get home, you just want to release that. Yeah, but then you just get, get shit You get shit on. Uh, maybe I just get shit on because I'm bad at the game. Oh, but I you just get home and you're like, oh, I'm just going to play this fucking game and, like, chill out. And you just get angry. I, I, th fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, and you just get angry, you let it all out, and yeah. you go to bed happy and calm. Uh, he's just, who we got on? Who is it? Is it Goody? Yeah. Is it? Is that Goody? Yeah. Uh, is that Goody? No. No, I God, no, 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 no. I don't know. This shows how much we all know about this game. That's not a controller. Yeah, it's a gamepad. Like sure, I know that at least. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a keyboard. Yeah, man. So yeah, they're gonna do like WASD shit. WASD type shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're getting controllers plugged in. Whoa, we got three, four. We got our first doubles. Hey, Kai, is this Tawny? Great chat. Great chat. I like that chat. Yeah, they got this. We gotta pick a team. So I know nothing about any of these players. Keep uh, going. Keep going. Okay. Well, we can only see, we can only see half their door and half your door. Oh, uh, look. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got a whole, like, camera movement type shit right now. Yeah, we're getting that different angle. We, hey, we're hitting it from the side. That's crazy. <laughs> we barely get all four in. Oh, yeah? Barely get all four in. Okay. Homie's name 666. Right, That's cool, crazy. Cool, cool. That's crazy. That's the devil's number. You don't like that number. Hey, well, we do you know, you know why it's 666? You know why it's the devil's number? Why? Because imperfection. Or it's like over perfection or some shit. Because like six is like pretty good. This is like coming from a Catholic understanding. Coming from a homie? Catholic understanding? This guy knows. Awesome, awesome. We're doing the we're doing the inputs right now. We're leaving it to Kai because we don't know what the fuck is going on. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. This is so involved. Just all up and around it. You know, you gotta respect it. I just like all the different buttons that are on the screen right now. They're kind of funny. There's so many buttons. There's so many buttons. There's so many buttons. I just wanna like press them all at the same time and see what happens. I think that might blow up the computer, bro, and if it's your computer, I don't want to fuck this shit up. No, I've blown it up a number of times. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. It's my cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
having some technical difficulties here, guys. It'll just be uh, it's not a technical minutes. difficulty. We're oh, just fixing it everything. Is it all good? Fixing everything. Huge! Yep. Wait, wait. All right. It's Tasmania v South Australia. This is a big game, actually. This is a huge game because it's battle for the worst state. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tasmania's got some cred now that it's like it's like really fucking gorgeous there. That's it. South Australia's got like what? I don't know. It's got like wine, I think. It's got the sure. Adelaide Oval and wine. The Adelaide Oval. Yeah, I fucking love going to the Adelaide Oval and sinking fucking piss. I love. I, I've played at the Adelaide Oval. Oh, actually. Yeah. When I played for uh, Victoria's American football team. That's crazy. <laughs> we played at the Adelaide Oval. We had 20 people rock up. <laughs> 20 people <laughs> bought oh, tickets. Big fucking game. Huge game. It was Victoria v South Australia. State team's going at it. <laughs> and yeah. uh, it was a beatdown. <laughs> it was a fucking beatdown. So I'm really interested to see... McLeod play here. I've heard good things. I have heard good I've, things I've about McLeod. I haven't seen her play yet, though. I, I, I do think that McLeod is going to be rocking the... Uh, ooh! A bit of a cheeky four-way fist bump. A four-way, some might say. A four-way? This, this is exactly what this is. Maybe even a bit of a swingers party. If, uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to go that way? <laughs> yeah. 100%. <laughs> but it's doubles, so... You know what happens to doubles. Double it is, it is actually insane watching this to just act like trying shit to that comprehend. Happens. I don't get how you can play doubles like this. This shit, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. This shit. Well, I, look, I struggle enough with one on ones. So, so far, Team SA uh, seem to be doing alright. Team SA, they've at least got one star. Oh no. And they lost one. There goes Falco. There goes Kai. It's alright. Okay. I do love how there's just all this jumping, you know? I love how every, okay. like, second button is a jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just makes me feel like... The cloud is doing really well. Oh, yeah. Apparently the rest, but hold on. Yeah, please. Yeah. Might, I might have spoken too soon. If I can stay alive, like... This is the type of shit that you're after. Oh, there goes Peach. <laughs> Back down to three, but Tasmania, they're copping it a fair bit as their fox goes down to two stocks. Actually, make it both of them, why not? Sheik as well, down to two. The one stock lead coming through for South Australia. Oh no. Huge coming out from Tazzy there. Falco is going to fall Bro, for Team South Australia. Is <laughs> <laughs> this is way too chaotic. Holy shit. Thank God there's only four slots. <laughs> like, thank fuck there's only four slots. Surely there's a mod that you can do like eight people. Nah, that might actually be too chaotic. Like, I actually think Nintendo would jail you for that. Okay, Peach and... It'd be like some fucking voodoo shit if you get out. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Connecting two fucking Wii's together Whoa. by a HDMI cable. <laughs> okay. okay, that's a big win. We got Fox down onto one, uh, one stock remaining. Sheik is on two, but a higher percentage. Peach has okay. three. That's big. Both yeah, Tasmanians. Both Tasmanians are on one, and we're going to see South Australia. Being able to have themselves a significant imagine, lead. Imagine, hold on, imagine, imagine. imagine. Dreams can come oh. true. That's the, that's the hope, that's the prayer. Peach nearly goes flying, able to at least work their way back. She stuck in here. Fair bit of work to do, the 1v2 having to come through. There's Tachyon. By himself, eventually does send Peach flying, but the stock's still remaining for the South Australians. As a big hit coming through. Releasing Tachyon, keeping this competitive. A high percentage, but it will keep Falcon out of the fight. Will eventually be able to get back on towards the stage. A single stock remaining for Kaiser. McLeod, the only issue here for Tachyon. This is insane. This is crazy. The 1v2 dreams potentially could come true. 
And that's no game. Way. Look, we tried to do Dude. our best, but there's so little that, that we can few, do. That was a few stocks there that were just, like, given. That was, that was insane. Yeah. I mean, look. They could have brought it back. They could have. They could have brought it back. We could insane. we could be living in a different timeline where... What's up, guys? Tasmania is the better state. <laughs> guys, I'm now a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, XQC. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I can be XQC. Yeah. Give us your XQC. No, I actually can't do it. I can't do XQC. <laughs> 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 I feel like if XQC watched this fucking stream, he'd have also no idea what the fuck was going on, but he'd be so excited. But I feel like he'd also be really good at being able to just describe the chaotic just by being chaotic. No, he's horrible at describing anything. His fucking descriptions make no out of sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense to be like, I don't know, bitch, bitch is playing with the dude with the dress, the bitch, whatever. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Early stocks being lost by everybody. Except Kai here, as everyone's down to three, except Falco. Ah, oh, looking to see now. It is Coop being the one who's sort of being the punching bag here. He's down to two stocks already. As uh, McLeod still keeping it competitive here, going one on one against Coop. Big damage being done, however, by Kai. McLeod still remains as an anchor. That's South Australian duo. McLeod really holding the team together right now, it's insane. This is crazy. McLeod is doing work. Hello. We are going to be seeing more chaos being construed around the server. McLeod eventually going down all the way to two stocks. Let's take on Tachyon, my apologies. You want heads now falling. Kaiser, the only person on three stocks at the current moment. Big fight, a big setup. Needed here as we're going to be seeing both of the Tasmanians down to their final stock. Falco still remaining on that high percentage there, and Kai will actually get here rid of Tachyon. It's all going to be down to Coop. A final and stock and will fall. Straight wipe. Straight wipe indeed as McLeod and Kaiser get the 2 0 done. And uh, we finally have worked out what the worst state is it's Tasmania. It's not much better than the other one, hey? It's really not. It's literally neck and neck for shit of state. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this has been fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go head back to uh, watching my friends over there play. So, uh, pleasure, Harry. Nice meeting you. Pleasure. Nice meeting you. Good to meet you. Have Good fun with the horny goat weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, horny goat weed on Instagram. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you guys do follow Mr. Horny Goat Weed. <laughs> Big fan of... Uh, He's El Natural, so he's a big fan of the um, the natural stuff. Kai. What are the tags? Captain Falcon. Lex. Ill. Army wife? Yep. Are you guys staying red? Yeah, phew. Huge. Huge. Queenslander and a New South Wales. A New South Welshman. Sounds dangerous. Do you reckon it's dangerous? Reckon there might be a bit of infighting going on, Adalia. Hello. Welcome back. I am back. After it's good to have you back. Jesus. After Jesus. After so much. Babe, the thing you bought me, right? They're not like the normal ones. They're like the maternity ones.
so like they're like huge. I did ask, and you made fun of me. No. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, R slash am I the asshole? <laughs> Is my boyfriend the asshole because he bought me the wrong size? Shoes we're talking about, chat shoes. Yeah, but because there's a thing called maternity shoes. I want a Polaroid of us. I am actually working on getting someone to take one. <coughs> of us? But uh, there's going to be a high chance that it'll have to be done tomorrow. No. <laughs> Why do you sound disappointed, Devon? I know, I know. Okay. Anyway, how are we? The four-way fist bump. It's our, we're almost up to hour seven. Huh? Yeah. It's grind time, baby. That's what he we're does. after. Yeah, he doesn't pull it. I think he ran out of film. Uh. Sucks. But, speaking of running out, looks like no one's running out of percentage just yet. Plenty of hits to come through from oh everybody my God, involved. McLeod. I love McLeod so McLeod. much. Big fan of McLeod? Oh my God, yes. Big McLeod fan? I am a big McLeod fan. I think she's awesome. Oh, a big hit as we're going to see Kaiser. Be the one to lose the first stock. It looks as if McLeod's on the way out as well. The stock lead still remaining firmly in control of that green team. And eventually those trades are coming through as the stocks look to try and level out at three. Hopefully that's the prayer for the South Australian team. Big hit coming out from Falco. And that's Kaiser being able to at least even it all up to three stocks apiece. As big hit coming through from McLeod. Finds one. Big set of punches. Both punches coming through for that red team at the same time. I got the snibbles because my nose is running. You got the snibbles? I had the snibbles because it's cold outside. Is it cold outside? It is. In the middle of Victorian winter? Why are you being rude to me all of a sudden? I'm not being rude. You've got an attitude with me. No. No. Maybe no. 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 Speaking of attitude. Oh, I need to see. Cloud's playing with a bit of attitude. Getting really aggressive with Peach here at the moment. That high percentage. Excuse me. On that third stock there for McLeod eventually. Going to be all that really remains here for the uh, Adelaide duo. But McLeod going to be down to two stocks. Two stocks apiece to come through for Lax and Army Wife. And with Captain Falcon there. That's Army Wife who is down to the final stock as well. Kaiser Army Wife, a stock apiece. And we're going to be seeing Lax and McLeod two to their name. More infighting comes through. McLeod getting solid damage. And it looks to be a tight fight coming through between Kaiser and... And, uh, and, uh, Lax, my apologies. More punches coming through. We're going to be seeing McLeod needing to stay alive. Barely able to get towards that ledge. McLeod, a big hit. We're going to be seeing one taken down. It's going to be all to those final stocks there. As McLeod does get a big hit. And it's all going to have to be down to Army Wife. The final stock remaining in the 1v2. His army wife just getting the double trouble. Army wife now stuck in a 1v1 against Kaiser. McLeod's going to take a fair bit of time coming back. And a big combo hit from both of these players. The ledge guard is going to be seeing Kaiser and McLeod. That red team being able to pick up the first game. That's not fair, man. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I find it cute that you worry about me. No. No. <laughs> no. Big damage coming through from that red team, but that green team at the moment looking to try and stay in control of this. We've seen Army Wife taking a bit of a beating. McLeod as well. McLeod with a big hit. McLeod with the, uh, the up airs. Trying to keep Lax away from the fight. As we 
do continue to see that red team pummeling away. A lot of the momentum belonging to that Peach and Falco of Kaiser and McLeod. More combo hits coming out from the two of them. Kaiser, the only person who has all four stocks remaining from the very, very start. McLeod's been doing a fair bit of damage and for Kaiser at the moment, just being able to be able, just being able to find consistent damage with all four stocks is going to be massive as we see that green team down to two stocks apiece. It almost would have been the four stock dream there for that Falco. The Falco Dittos go at it. Kaiser lax. They're looking to try and have themselves a bit of a scrap. Falco. Falco. It's giving Row F. You love Row F? It's giving Row F. Big fan of Row F? Big fan. Shout out to Row F. Shout out Row F. My day ones. We're actually going to be seeing Lax on that final stock. So is Captain Falcon, but with a massive stock lead for Kaiser and McLeod, you'd very much imagine heroics would need to be pulled off here from Lax and Army Wife to try and fight their way back into this one. And it all starts with that first stock on the Kaiser. Oh, the big hit coming out from McLeod. Continuing to be an absolute menace. We'll take down Lax. Yet again, it's all going to have to be down to Army Wife. A big hit sees Kaiser flowing straight out the right side of that stage. Army Wife will miss the ledge. And we're going to see a 2-0 coming out for Kaiser and McLeod. God damn. God damn. God damn. You know what you're I'm very, saying? You're very loud in my head. I'm very loud. This is loud. Like, I'm very loud. Is there a way to turn my one down a bit? No. That's the entire thing. I'll have to find the button. Anyways. That should fix it for you. Yeah, you're turning me down. I can't. You're turning my mic up. That's what I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds fine. It's the, like the volume in my in my head. Yeah. Hold on. Huh? Did you understand any of what? I heard that. Okay, good. Oh, apparently I'm too loud. He's loud in my head. That's not true That's at all. I'm not loud. I'm a moderate noise. Shout out to Prime. Shout out to any Prime users. Shout out to the Primers? Big Prime yourself? Because then ads playing, so they're the only ones that can actually hear us. But what if they just sub with their normal money instead of their Prime money? Well... Looks like you're the science guy now. Can you move, like, closer? My name is Billiam Nias. Always moving so far away from me. My name is Billiam Nias. Billiam Nias? Billiam Nias. The science guy. Bill Nias, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nias, the science guy. Bill. Big fan of Bill. Big fan. Honestly, there's a fair bit that Bill has been able to do that not a lot of us have been able to do. Yeah. Like understand science. Science is for... What's science for? For Billiam Nias. For <laughs> you think his first name is Billiam? Yep. <laughs> no, his first name is Billiam. Bill. Nye. The... Science. Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Big fan of Bill Nye. Did you ever watch Bill Nye growing up? No. I wish I did, though. I feel like it was I like an only American TV show. Yeah. Because all American science is backwards. That's very true. Ba 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 ba. Uh. Right. You're gonna full screen us? Yeah. That's crazy. There's no game. 
<laughs> no one's there yet. Do I have people behind us? Like, like. Oh yeah, you got. You had like a. <laughs> Like people behind us, you know what I mean? You had like a hole. Oh no, we could be getting a danger on the setup. It could be envy on the setup, a danger. We do have a danger on the setup yeah. now. Oh, double danger actually, double trouble. Yeah, it's a uh, he, him. Envy and... Are you playing? Uh, yeah, I'm playing. Yeah. And then... Is it... Yeah. Yeah, he'll be an auto fill-in. And then you just put USA in there. Huge. And then we're going to wait to oh. see what they pick. Zelda. Zelda? Wait. Envy, just pick me. <laughs> Actually driving me insane right now. It's crazy. He's, you know, he's crazy. He's fucking with us. These Americans, man, they come over here, they think they're top shit. <laughs> they're sitting there, they're walking around like their shit don't stink. You know what I mean? Okay, I think he's staying as Falco. I fucking hope so. If not, he's going to be Falco for the rest of the set. It's not Falco Green. If not, he's yeah, Falco for the rest of the set. Bear in mind, they do have a very, very loud man behind them in the form of uh, Nicholas Yingling. Uh, we need... Yada is going... Zelda, it looks like. Zelda? Yeah. Okay. What's your main? Green Zelda. Yeah, that's my main. What's your main? Okay, and then everything's alright. Everything cool. looks to be all good. Everything looks to be all okay. You'd hope so. You'd oh, definitely whoopsie, hope so. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. What's a whoopsie? What's a whoopsie? That's better. It's that one. It's that one. We got the right one. And you know what that means? Oh, I'm gonna change. It's time to game. It's time to game. I am a... You are a, pro a producer? Producer. Uh, graphics developmental lead. I'd love to be a producer. You reckon? I think it'd be fun. Just pressing buttons. One look at Strategizer says that's a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right. All right, all right. One look at Strategizer just says that's a really, really bad idea. <laughs> For those of you at home who don't know who Strategizer is, he's a uh, CSGO producer. For uh, I love Yada. our broadcasts. Yada. Big fan. I, when I told him, like, oh, you're from Pittsburgh, aren't you? And he was like, yeah, how the fuck did you know? You can hear it. I was like, oh, I hear it. He looks like he says Yinza for fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the Cloud Kaiser. They've been on a bit of a tear recently. They've won their last two. Look at the gamer stance from Envy there in the middle of the gray sweatshirt. You'd love to see it. Yeah. He's gone CSGO style, like leaning half a millimeter away from the uh, the screen. Uh, that well. is right, Flam. And now we're going to see... <laughs> well, that's right, Adalia. Now we're going to get back into it. And that green team, well, they're looking to be dominant at the moment. That red team really struggling to get on top of the board here. But as we start to see more hits coming through, high percentage damage being done. We're eventually going to be seeing Envy <laughs> taking off on towards that right side. We're going to be seeing Jada as well. Off towards the right. Jada? All the fighting coming through. Eventually, it's going to be McLeod being the first one to drop a stock. <laughs> I don't know how long. Jada? Yada. Yada. I look, look. I just went horse commentary mode. You did. Coming around the outside now, we're going to be seeing Envy taking off on that left. He's going to go down to three stocks. Four stocks only remaining for Kaiser only in that red team. And as we continue to see McLeod keeping to find battles, keeping to find fights, staying busy. Kaiser's going to be knocked off towards that right side. Oh, I can't do that for too long. It just Don't hurts. do that. It just hurts. It sounds like it hurts. It just hurts. Like, I feel like I can do it if I practice it more. Yeah, so i got to get sure. better at it. Guys, put your bets in. Put your bets in. All right, Send the betting it. for race seven is closed. <laughs> Send it to my PayPal. To your PayPal? Yep. All right. Dahlia will be your bookie. 
Dahlia will be the bookie. We're actually going to be seeing Kai going down to two stocks as well. But three stocks continuing to be managed over by that green team of Envy. And what is it? Jada? No. Yada. Yada. He got the Yadas! He got the Yadas! Ain't no way that boy got the Yadas. A big up tilt there by Falco. Eventually, we're going to be seeing Yada taken off. He's going to be down to two stocks. We continue to see damage being done. Two stocks for everybody here. More hits coming out. Eventually, that edge guard's going to be seeing Kaiser down to that final stock. Falco on the sticks. It's Falco playing Falcon. That's uh, that's crazy. Falco plays Falcon. What is it? Falco melee playing Falco. That's crazy. He should he should play Falco if his name's Falco. That's crazy. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Huh? You gotta change the button. Because you don't know the button. No, the button's up there. All right. <laughs> um, looking like it's gonna be more. Towards that green side at the moment, Envy Yada. They've got themselves in firm control. It's all gonna be down to McLeod. By herself, 1v2 eventually takes that stock off Yada. Still looking to dodge fights. A 1v2 needed for the victory. A high percentage, eventually a good combo on towards Envy. But with Yada still hanging around, it's gonna be difficult for McLeod. Still up and about, still wanting to keep the fight alive. For McLeod at the current moment, taken off towards that left side. Eventually, looking to keep that fight going. McLeod, high percentage. It's only going to be a matter of time unless the dream can look to turn to a miracle. Eventually, will hit Yada, taking him off towards that right side, isolating that one-on-one -on -one fight. Smashed into the air, and we're going to be seeing Envy and Yada being able to take that first set. Yeah, that's right, Flam. Looks like it was a pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Adalia. Envy and Yada coming over from the States. They've got themselves a bit of an early start. No, because anytime you're duo casting with anyone, like, you stop. And then they're like, oh, yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's man. right. And that's right, champion. I'm like, oh, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't champ me. Fuck off. <laughs> Now it looks as if we're going to be seeing, yet again, McLeod Kaiser. Their first real test, I think, for this entire thing. Eventually that edge guard's going to come through. Yarda's going to be able to at least hold on for the time being. McLeod is going to be absolutely boomed off the right side, and so goes Kaiser. I feel like if Kaiser just change the first A to an E and it was Cursor, that'd be funny. The first... First A to an E. To Cursor. Cursor. Like Cursor, the sickest? Fuck Triple J, you know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, no, I don't actually. Oh, you're, not, you're, not, you're not around that Aussie hip-hop scene. You know I'm not saying? really that cool. You don't like Triple J. That's okay, you can admit that. I don't know who it is, so I don't have an opinion. Triple J is a radio station. Oh. <laughs> Are you talking about that? Yeah, the radio station. Oh, the fucking Triple J. And how they banned cursing is crazy. Me and my homies, we don't like Triple J. Me and my homies hate Triple J. Exactly. Exactly. Are you single, by any chance? No, I've got a girlfriend. She's lovely. Who's your girlfriend? You. Oh, thank you. Um... <laughs> Now with that 3-3, three, three, <laughs> Southwest Sydney own cursor. <laughs> uh, well, at least going to be seeing Kaiser taking down the two stocks. Envy as well, hanging around that two stock mark. But those three stocks at the moment there for Yada and McLeod need to have damage done against them. Shrubby! Hey, Shrubby. And eventually with... Peach taking a bit of a back seat here. A big hit coming through from McLeod. Jesus, 136. See massive damage being dealt here with two stocks to go on everybody. Here in the stage, the boost from Kaiser will hit McLeod, bumping McLeod onto the stage, but killing Kaiser in the process. 
The final stock remaining there for Kaiser. Envy will have himself his final stock as well. We start to find little bits of damage to be done all over the stage at the moment. It looks as if we're going to be seeing McLeod taking on Yada. That's the matchup that we want to see isolated. As the two Falcos will go against each other. Edge guarding from everybody. It's going to be seeing Yada taken down to his last stock. McLeod, the only person with two. So, Shrubby, um, it's 1-0. Um, green the, team is the winning. To the Americans. You see the green, they're winning. Yeah, green is winning. Green is winning. A big hit there by Kaiser. Will knock Envy out. It's all going to be down to Yada by himself. 1v2s. Two stocks to still deal with on McLeod. And with time dwindling away, Yada is going to end up getting that edge. Eventually coming back in, will fall off, and it's going to be 1-1. One, one. We're heading to game number three. That was, um, that was pretty cool. That was actually a really intense sort of 2v2. Intense. I know they're game. all intense because it's so quick paced and there's just everything going everywhere. But like that is like really intense. Yeah. Just la, having la, everyone la, on la, one la, stock, la, it was la, 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 la. Is that controlling your one or my one? Do you feel any sort of don't difference? Know. If you want me to turn the audio down, I'll do it now. No, 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 no. It's fine. No? <laughs> Alright, understandable. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you okay. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're very loud. That, I appreciate that. Okay. That means I'm Let's doing begin. my job. Let's begin. Oh my god, Sheik is already at, like, damage. Yeah, just insta-combo. Just insta-combo. And just absolutely brutal. We're actually going to be seeing McLeod taking a beating Envy as well. Kais is the only person who just looks to be not, not getting hit, not getting touched, not a single scratch. So we're going to be seeing Envy nah. unable to hit the edge, will go down. And an early stock lead for that red team of Kaiser and McLeod. You guys are both clear, beautiful voices built for casting. Aww, built for casting. Oh, I'm built for this. this is my arena right now. This McLeod will go bye-bye out the back. This is actually going to be Kaiser now needing to try and find a way back to the stage. Won't be able to. Three stocks across the board for all four. Here on the stage. Ooh, eventually seeing that edge being caught there by, J by Yada. I don't know. Yada? I keep Yada. Jada. I don't know why. Think like Yoda, but Yada. Think like the Yadas, the fresh Tims? That's what i got to think. i got to think of those fresh Tims. Yeah. And speaking of fresh Tims, we're seeing some fresh moves. MB misses the edge. Ends up losing a stock. The first person on two stocks here in this doubles fight. A lot of work has to be done by Yada. But we need to be seeing Envy landing blows. A big hit. It's actually going to see Yada. Nearly able to come back in. Will eventually go down to two stocks. It looks as if the team from South Australia at the moment dominating. A bit of row F magic. Row F in the background there, Flam. <laughs> Looks as if Nintendo were able to predict 20 years in the future when they put row F into this game. Exactly. As now it's going to be single stocks there for Kaiser and Envy. Kaiser earlier on in this fight looked like he wouldn't even take a single hit. Now down to that final stock. It's going to be Yarder and McLeod. Their duel is pretty much going to signify who is most likely going to be winning this. And with Yada so heavily tagged, up towards 100%, 85 on McLeod. But the 1v1 is where it's starting to get interesting as Kaiser and Envy both going at it. Kaiser, a heavy, heavy percentage will go down. It's McLeod. Still on heavy, high percent. Will get grabbed. Will get pummeled. Will get put into the next stratosphere in terms of hits. 145%, 155 now. Needing to stay alive. Envy wants to put an end to it. Won't quite be able to for now. McLeod staying on towards that outside. Eventually, we're going to be seeing Envy down to that final stock. Final stocks across the board. This doubles match continues to interest as we're going to be seeing Yada taken off towards that right side. Kaiser on towards that left side. It's everybody going everywhere at the current moment. And in this doubles fight, McLeod will go down. It's all going to be down to Kaiser on 1v2. High percentage on towards Yada. But that's going to be game. And Envy and Yada are going to win it 2-1.
God damn. God damn, yeah. <laughs> That's an intense ass game. <laughs> We've been doing singles and I'm like, okay, I can handle singles. We get to doubles and I'm like, holy Christ, there is a lot holy going on. Schnookums. Holy shit. <laughs> That's the first loss for Kaiser and McLeod. Yeah. That was um that was very intense. That's crazy. That was brazy. Well that done. That is crazy. Well done. Well done. Just a crazy fight. Oh, bro, I I need a second to breathe. <laughs> I can, like, I mean, Jesus. Yeah, you, you were... Give me a sec. You were popping off. You were... You were going, you were going brazy there. Oh, I can't feel my throat. <laughs> I can't feel my throat when I'm with you. Don't say that. No worries. I can't feel my... That's, <laughs> that's just, oh, that takes it out of you. Holy Jesus. I don't understand how, like, people can commentate this game professionally. Because that's just no. so quick. I assume it's just like you just got to learn it. Yeah. But I mean, hey, like, you got to do what you got to do. That's a hell of a game from MV and Yada as well. Exactly. Hell of a game. And you love to see it. It's a good yes. fight. Good battle. It was very great. Lots of fun. Good fight, good battle. You love to see it. The Yanks coming out on top. Mm. John Way, uh, American number one. Move closer. Move closer? I, I have been moving closer. Like your seat needs to be aligned. They are I aligned. Look, I look, you look far away and they I are look too forward. I'm just leaning back. Because I'm long. Yeah. Because I'm too long. <laughs> I'm way too long. I want to play Smash. I want to play so bad. But you want to play? I know. I want to get in controller. We can get you the Switch if you want. My Switch and I just we can showed... get you your Switch. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just playing backwards. <laughs> just show Jet. Just show Jeb. 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 Showing Jeb. Are you there, Jet? Jeb. Looks like McLeod might be back. Hi, Huey. Jeb. Okay. <laughs> just got egoed by Huey. That's... A bit that's, annoying. that's an L, to be honest. It's a bit, yeah, honestly. Look, sometimes you can't be, you can't be the goat in every esport. That's no, what I've learned. Yeah, that's, that's what I've true. learned. I've been humbled today. Don't know the goat in every esport. <laughs> know what I mean? I know what you mean. I you know what I mean. mean. You're picking up what I'm putting down. I wouldn't ego you. <laughs> you wouldn't ego me. That's true. Shrubby wouldn't. <laughs> Shrubby <laughs> wouldn't. Yeah. Shrubby, you should pick up a melee player for the Bardolphs. Pick up a melee player for the Bardolphs. Pick up, like, I don't know, someone. Whoever comes, like, eighth. Pick up whoever comes eighth in this event, in the singles. Oh, bro. We had one, doesn't play anymore. Doesn't play anymore? Bardolphs had a melee player? You guys had melee? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, Bottles see us melee? all? You had a melee player? That's crazy. I know there's a dude walking around. Is Sock is walking around with a Mind Freak jersey. So, yeah. shout out MJ Carr, I guess. MJ, MJ Carr. I miss, I miss Michael. I'm not going to lie. He keeps egoing me on Twitter. It's very funny. Good. What so do you mean good? You need to be put in your place. What? Make it seem like I have a massive ego problem. I'm just better. Shut up. <laughs> Have a book. <laughs> His name oh, we got Nangs! Ah, oh. we got Nangs. We, we have may people. as well. We've got a tournament game. Uh, All right. Hold on. Gameplay. No, no. Whoops. Hold on. Gameplay. That one there. Okay, we'll do that. One. Do you wanna wait? So. Okay. I'll let you. His name was Boof? It was Boof. 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 Hi, Hi Huey. Huey. You egoed me before. I didn't like that. Let's go, Huey. <laughs> Let's go, Huey. Hi, Nangs. <laughs> Nangs. Nangs. 
Hey, Sumi, who are you partnered with? Who are you partnered with? Speak up, I can't see you. M-U-R, M-U-R. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. We did it, chat. We did it. We did it, chat. We did it. This is big. This is big. We just did it. You okay? Yeah. Pick up a Smash player for us. I might. I, I should be able to if you want me to, Shrubby. I'll chat to. Uh, I'll chat to Nangs. The guy drinking a beer on stream right now. I can manage him. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> I got enough of my Planet Arcade as is. <laughs> Writing like half their content. There's uh, doubles. All right. About to get underway. We got the two Victorians. Insumi and Murmur. Huey a Victorian as well. I can't believe he'd betray his own state like that. That's fucked up. <laughs> What's going on with Huey, man? I miss the old Huey. Straight from the soul Huey, you know? He'd do, he'd do it with the Victorians Huey, you know? I miss the old Huey. Oh, a very quick loss to Huey there. We'll actually lose that first stock of the uh, doubles. Just misplacing a down smash. State on state violence. Now it's starting to be a bit more of a cheeky and even fight coming all across the board. Fight indeed. We're going to be seeing three stocks taken towards both of those foxes. And Sumi and Hugh both taken down the three stocks apiece. We're seeing high damage on towards those four stock players. In Murmur and Nangs. Got to see an impossible task coming through from Hugh to try and come back. Won't be able to all too much. Taken down to two stocks. He's the first one. He's the first one into the fight, and he's the first one getting knocked straight back out of it. So now Nang's the only person with four stocks remaining. Actually, a team, two missiles that hits his own team. That's crazy. That's team on team violence right there. I imagine that Huey is not going to be very happy with Nang's. As <laughs> Huey just gets knocked off by Nangs yet again. At least seeing now. Huey keeping it competitive. He had a bit of a rough start in towards this doubles match, but he's able to at least get it going. We're going to be seeing Nangs eventually losing his first stock before coming back in towards that fight. Huey, still on high percentage, wanting to find himself a little bit of something. Murmur and Sumi, keeping it competitive, but high percentages themselves. Two stocks apiece for that green team. As Huey will go down to his final stock. His teammate Nangs, on three stocks himself. But for Sumi here, Being able to try and stay competitive will eventually get back on towards that stage from the right side. Huey taking a fair chunk of damage. But Nang's at least being able to fall his way back on towards that stage. A very, very heavy hit. Does see Murmur taking a bit of a back seat. Sumi will hold on. Huey will get knocked back even further. He's going to go down. Nang's will lose a stock. Actually, Huey's back. It looked like he was knocked out for good. State on state violence. State on state violence. <laughs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. With Huey continuing to find damage. 
Now here for Murmur, a high percentage will eventually be knocked out. It's all gonna have to be down to Sumi. In, a sing in the singles, a demon in their own right. But here in doubles, a completely different game. A two on one needed to try and take this first game in. We're gonna be seeing Yui just absolutely pummeling Sumi. It looks like the chase is gonna try and get a little bit more aggressive in. Sumi back on towards that stage. The final stock needing to find at least a little bit of damage to get a bit of momentum coming in. Huey wants to go chasing, wants to go after that fight. It looks as if Sumi could potentially even make Huey pay for it. A big hit coming through from Nangs. A big pop coming through and Nangs and Huey are going to take the first. That is pretty cool. That's pretty insane. Well done. Kudos. Kudos to Kudos. Nangs and Huey, even Kudos. though I'm not a big fan of Huey. Teaming up with a South Australian. Not a fan of that. We'll be honest. That was... Not a fan. Okay. Huey, it's not okay. Let's go, Sumi. Huey, it's Let's not try. okay. It's not okay, Huey. It's not okay. That's fucked up. How much did Nangs pay you, Huey? If he paid you enough, I might understand. It's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. All I will be saying. Ready? Uh. Start to get back into it. High percentage on towards Sumi early on. Actually, we'll lose the first stock. The aforementioned Sumi is Murmur. High stock for that green team. We're seeing Huey and Nangs both starting to get up there in terms of that percentage count. Huey's actually going to fall. Huey delivering a bruising. Seeing Huey, a big hit to come through, gets hit at the same time. We'll catch the ledge. Samus will hit a high percentage missile. Oh, I missed it. Huey will miss that edge grab, and we're going to be seeing Nangs lose a stock as well. Still, boss stocks on towards Murmur at the moment. We're going to try and maintain control here. Finally, everybody loses a stock. It was just Murmur who was holding out on us. Green taking full control of the stage here at the moment. With Huey on a high percentage, eventually seeing a knockout coming through. Sumi will go down, Huey the same as well. Down to the final stock for both foxes. seeing Huey on that final stock. He's taking a fair bit of a fight. Two heavy hits. The two foxes going at it. One stock apiece. Here. At the current point in time, Huey is at least going to be able to get back on towards that stage. Big hit. We're actually going to see Huey going down. That stock's going to get transferred over. One stock apiece here for Nangs and Huey. As they look to try and keep their hopes alive for avoiding a, a third game. Yeah. 
Masumi. Getting a life there from Murmur. You're already high percentage, Murmur. Actually going to leave Nangs by himself. The 1v2, a very high percentage on Murmur, but Sumi, definitely a problem with that low percentage. That edge guard's going to come in as soon. Oh no! Nangs is going to get the edge! How's he done that? He's going to continue to get away. He needs to keep himself alive. Nangs could potentially do it. Will get knocked off, and it looks as if this could be the end for Nangs. As Sumi and Murmur take it to game three. Well done. That was very exciting. They're keeping it tight. They're keeping it competitive, and we're going to a tiebreaker. Exciting. Very exciting. This is a very tense matchup between these two. Yeah, I don't. I, my thoughts, honestly, I kind of want um, uh, Simi and Mama to win. As much as I love Huey. You don't like Nangs? And Nangs. You don't like Nangs? I've never talked to him before. Oh, just in general, you don't like Nangs. Why are you putting words in my mouth? I'm not putting anything in my mouth. Ah! <laughs> Stop trying to pinch my nipples, it's weird. I wasn't pinching your nipples. I tried to. No, I didn't. Tried to. Where's the proof? <laughs> the intent that matters. Ah! <laughs> not my nipples, leave me alone. Why are you gaslighting everyone? I'm not gaslighting. I'm just lying. <laughs> We're at least going to be seeing a stock taken down for both Huey and for Murmur. Actually, Nanks as well will lose a stock. It's going to be Sumi, the only person with all four. These big combo hits are coming out. Big hit onto Huey. Can he come back from it? The answer's no. The edge guard will get him, but at least there's the trade. Samus will at least be able to get back on towards that stage finally. Is, the, is Sumi going to be able to stay alive as well? That's the big question. Absolute chaos coming through as we're seeing Huey taking that one on fire, one on one fight against Murmur. Humble sheep Two stocks in hand for that green team of Sumi and Murmur. Huey on a high percentage. Looks as if things could go bad to worse for this red team of Nangs and Huey. Is Huey taken down to his final stock? Here's the thing, Sumi has been so aggressive and so patient with that fox. Even though sitting on a high percentage, not willing to just throw themselves straight at that fight, they're looking to try and find their openings and it's working well. As we see Murmur taken down towards that last stock. Manks, the only person on that red team with two. We're actually going to see Huey. He's going to hit Nangs on towards that stage again, but Nangs has to fight his way back on towards the stage. Will eventually fall. One stock apiece. As Huey gets taken down, it's all down to Nangs. He's got four stocks to find. Will actually take one stock away. Actually, make it three stocks, why not? He gets the double hit onto Sumi and Murmur. Now, two to find, the 1v2 coming through. As Nangs continues to be in this fight, hasn't taken much damage here. As he's gonna get tossed around like a beanbag. Nangs eventually hit off towards that right side and Sumi and Murmur are gonna do it. Two games straight to come back down from that one nil deficit beating Nangs and Huey. That was 
So that was such a good game. I'm not gonna lie, that was, that was, that a was, very good that game. was pretty fucking cool. The completely unhumble Sheik Fair. Very good game. Slayed. Like a round of applause. Y'all slayed! Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you they would win. I just had faith in Huey. Just Huey looking, looks. <laughs> he looks so depressed, bro. Huey, are you no, no, no. Are you okay? <laughs> you look so. <laughs> he looks so sad. You're just like. Yeah, they just lost out of bracket. <laughs> they just lost out of bracket. That's fucked I up didn't the dude. That. That's didn't fucked know. up to call him out after he just lost out of bracket. That's fucked up. I did not know that. That's fucked up. I thought it was just still free that plays is fucked and up. then that they That's fucked up. You gotta give him a hug now. Uh, yeah, true. That's fucked up. Uh Sumi and uh Memo. Yeah, say Why does everyone just hate Huey today? We <laughs> Why does everyone so hate, we Huey? hate Huey? Why is, it, why is everyone hating on Huey? Oh, so Nangs is the problem then, is what you told me. You love them, but you love Sumi and Murmo more. So, comparatively, comparatively, you guys hate Harry and Huey compared to Sumi and Murmo. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm honest about it. All right. I, you know what? At least you're honest about it. <laughs> at least you're honest about it. Everyone loves Marcy. Exactly. At least you're honest about it. It was going to be a very good game. Let's hope to see if we get some class coming up next. That's what I want to see. Some class on grass. That is definitely what I want to see. Oh. That's if we get anyone. Anyone or anything. That's the big question. Get Huey. Get Huey? What do you mean you want to get Huey? Get Huey. What do you mean get Huey? He's out of bracket. They need this for tournament. Get Huey to talk. You want to get Huey to talk? Jesus. Alright. Huey! Huey! We have to call over Huey. We have to call over Huey. Oh, he's in a conversation somewhere. I didn't see the other person. <laughs> you okay? What's wrong? Nothing. You sure? You could just walk up to one of the yard boys and just go, you want to come on? Because I think that would be funny. <laughs> That'd be funny. If you we can't get free, we'll find someone. We will definitely find someone. But Jab, who are we excited to see win, Jab? Who are we excited to see win? Who are we excited to see win, Jab? That's my question. If we ever get an answer. Sumi and Murmur. You, after, you, you wanted to see Sumi and Murmur win? That might actually just move everything to main, if I remember correctly. I think that's what Kai was telling me about. I don't remember. Because, well, they're playing doubles on main right now. They're playing doubles on main right now. But yeah. Um, I don't even know if there's any more tournament for us to watch. I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to go find Kai and check. I'm trying to go check. Do you wanna go find Kai and check? Everyone's tired. Everyone's a bit slow today. <laughs> Everyone's a bit tired. Everyone's a bit slow. It's okay though. We'll get through it together. We'll get through it together, chat. 
Sometimes it's not about how quickly you get to the destination. It's about the journey you took on the way. You know what I mean? We have someone to uh, jump on in, Sean. Jump on in. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. That Huey game. That Huey game. Holy shit. It was very close. How are we up to? Oh, we've cracked 14. We've cracked 14. We're up to 15. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge numbers. This is enormous. We're in a different world. Honestly, I'm really? ecstatic. <laughs> I'm sad Huey lost. Oh, oh, absolutely heartbroken to hear Great lost. games. Great games. I spent the entire time explaining uh, upper and lower bracket to a friend of mine. I almost got it right. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few, few errors. A few errors? All right, do you want to explain to chat now that you know? Well, see, my understanding was upper bracket, double elim. So upper bracket, you knocked out once, you got into lower. If you lose in lowers, you're out. Yeah. The thing I had wrong was once you get to grands, if you come from lowers, you need to win twice in a row. Yeah. Or you need to, like, you need a reset, I think. No, I've already forgotten it. Huey already explained it, it very well. If we get Huey, he'll know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you come from lowers, you've got to win. Once you're in grands. Yeah, once you're in grands. You go, or I was assuming you'd feed somewhere back into, like, quarters and semis. Yeah. But no, apparently, losers go, sorry. Why are you trying to throw hands? Just because he's from Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Logan, cunt. Let's go. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I was assuming losers would feed in somewhere in like semis and quarters. Straight to grand finals. No, if you win all the way through lowers, then you... you it's essentially... Do you know what a map advantage is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. So you just need to win one extra set resets it and then it's complete yeah yeah, yeah. whereas winners only need to win, win one yeah I don't know fascinating yeah it's pretty uh, pretty good day I was hoping it was like I was hoping this true was from not five minutes ago <laughs> I was like yes I got it right, right. I got it right <laughs> okay look that true as far as I'm concerned I hadn't seen till now so that's technically we'll now. take it I'll take it we'll take it now everyone just agrees with me that works everyone, does. everyone agrees with you what do we got like <laughs> I walked into your explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wow, this is the greatest explanation I've ever seen. Have you seen the Tucker Carlson uh, clip when he was at, explaining it um, in uh, Melbourne at some university about nicotine? No. It's going to be bad stream content, but I'll show you. I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can get a, you can get your live reaction. We can get my live reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen it. It's absolutely beautiful. What, talking about nicotine on... <laughs> you gotta throw a, you gotta oh. throw a thing off. Uh, this one, this one. That's my wallet, not that. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid iPhone! I don't know how to fucking use iPhone. Just man. look at it, just look at it. <laughs> Who's on comms? There are some viewers on comms. I'll get someone who knows what they're doing. Or are you busy? Are you still in bracket? Are you playing double still? Popping a zin after that is crazy. It's been so good watching throw it in. That's insane. Popping a zin after that is crazy. <laughs> that's fucking mental. <laughs> what's wrong with people? That's crazy. Actually, what's wrong with people? Man, I love Tucker. <laughs> I can't, honest to God, I can't keep up with like the new wave of uh, the new wave of, of uh, gamer habits of political um, political unrest within societies. Yeah, exactly. It, it's can't keep up with it? I, I just can't, no. I mean, political unrest within society has always been a top-tier content piece, you know? <laughs> Hate that. 
It's always so good I have your next game here. We have Army Wife and Lax versus Tig, Id and Rolic, which is going to be great. Rolic. NSW. Yuck. No Victorians here. This is disgusting. Donkey Kong. All right, cool. Samus. I, got, I got it right the first time. Samus. Yeah. Now we just want to. Ah, uh, uh, I guess it's not on the screen, so it's fine. Sort of chill. Oh, shit. Everyone knows it's doubles. Green, we got him. We got him. Is it doubles or is it two singles at the same time on the same monitor? In a lot of ways, it is. Yeah. In a lot of ways, very much so. Um. Alrighty. Oh, that's a dominant start there Actually by Army is. Wife. Actually, it is. Hey, oh. that's the mental game right there. You can't get any better than the mental game. That was crazy. Winning that rock, paper, scissors sends the message early. Oh, definitely. You can just see the confidence on Lax and Army Wife there. There's smiles all around. and They actually might have this. Oh, I think... I think Rolik might even be playing Fox. I don't know. He might switch. Radio. This yeah. Is crazy. Yeah. So the the team you're going to be looking at. Oh god damn it. <laughs> so, so cringe. Get embedded. Um. So yeah, the the team you're going to be looking at is Falco, Falcon versus Peach. And Samus. Which, by the way... Yeah. You don't see it often. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Um, you don't see it often, but Peach Samus are like two like mobile tanks, you know? Peach and Samus are two mobile tanks? Yeah, yeah. They just hold on to stocks for so, so long. For so, so long. Kind of ludicrous. I'm actually kind of impressed that these guys are able to single-handedly carry a CRT. We we do it for a living. We do it for the love of the game. For the love of the game? Yeah. But who loves the game more in this in this four stack? Might be Tid. Because he is the he is the TO extraordinaire of uh, New South Wales right now. I mean, hear me out. If Tid is a TO. That, from every everything I know, TOs aren't good at the game. Hey, hey, you're talking a lot. Hey, hey, I'm just saying, from my personal experience in Counter-Strike, TOs are not good at the game. You are right. <laughs> you, are, you are somewhat right, but consider this. Well done. <laughs> consider this, though. Armada TO'd Beast 5. Or no, Beast 4. One of them. One of the beasts. I love how that's your only exception. He got second. That's your only exception to the rule. Of TOs aren't good at games. Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out. Yep. Aiden Calvin. Dog shit. Yeah, kinda. He's Canadian. Kinda true. It's the it's disgusting what he does on kinda, a, on a kinda CRT. Kinda true. Absolute pure filth is what he does on a CRT. Um, it's so good of Miss Bellum from Powerpuff Girls to join us on stream as well. With the head out of frame. Who? You know Miss Bellum, Powerpuff Girls? She's the really tall, red-headed lady um, with the red, like, blazer. And you never see her head because her head is always off the top of the screen. You'll know her if I show you her. Dead set. All right. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. Screw all this. Yeah, screw all of the... Uh, <laughs> I love how in my search results, it's... Yeah. Maybe drunk and yeah. maybe you, you never, You never see her head. It's always off screen like that. That's how you know. Anyway, back to the match. That, that's her. That's a dude. <laughs> Tid standing up. That's a dude. <laughs> yeah, but making a cameo. Making the cameo? Yeah. It's like... What other characters are like faceless? I mean, Samus sort of is, because she's in the suit. Um... Captain Falcon, you only see his chin. He's, sort He's of literally Batman. He is kind of like the Batman of um, Melee. He's in a the lot Batman of, of Melbourne. Yeah, well, I, there was a guy called Lucky who called his Falcon Batman. The Batman. He would pick the black one and everything. Yeah. 
do you have names for your characters? You play? Some people do, I don't. I only play Falco. And he's he's my guy, he's my bird. You don't have like a name for him? No. I, I really don't. Do you know who Bobby Scar is? I do know who Bobby Scar is. Alright, he's got a whole he's got a whole list of characters. He's got Falco Long Bobby. He's got Skarmada. Yep. So like Falco, Peach. We've got Um Who else? That's all that's coming to me right now. That's all you know. That's all I got in my head right now. It's kind of fading away. This is this was looking not too bad for Green Team just before, by the way. This it wasn't too bad. bad. But but it looks as if Black's Army Wife will take the uh, loss. Rollick and Tid able to pick up that first game. Yup. Huh? This is the best of three. Oh jeez, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only top eight that's best of five, to my knowledge. Do you oh, want me to go check? I can. Like, I'm pretty sure it's only top eight that's best of five, but I can check for you. I know you're not. Yeah, I know you're not. Like, if I go to the bracket, it'd be so funny if it says like top of thirteen. You, you'll be able to find it here. Like, Should be. Because there'll be another like match that's played out, right? You'd hope so. And I like that the green team has gone for the uh, Jujutsu Kaisen characters. Whoa, Captain Falcon and Falcon. Monkey Trader. Huh? Monkey Trader. No, I can't be honest. <laughs> Maki and Toji in the tags? I think. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Might be. Might just be anime nerds. Uh, let me see. Let me see. It definitely. Yeah, it's definitely bet first of two here. 100%. Alright, cool. Nah, huge. Back to the match. Huge. <laughs> That's massive. Big stuff. So we've gone to Yoshi Story. Did you know this is the smallest blast zone stage? And it's also the smallest size stage. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's ridiculously small. People will die so fast. That makes sense. Um, it's really good for the team that isn't uh, Peach and Samus. Because <laughs> getting to kill these two characters early is really, really handy. They're kind of, I'm going to say it, kind of a bitch to kill. Whoa, you can't be swearing on stream. It's my stream. It's my stream. I don't know what I want. You can't be swearing. This is Twitch copy. We're playing an illegal copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Allegedly. I mean, they can't prove it. Allegedly illegal. No, th there's a disc in there, guys. I promise. There's 100% a disc in there. Actually, depending on who wins this set, I might check the disc. <laughs> I might request the disc check. Just ruin a Teo's life. Referee, can I get a... Referee, can I check the disc? <laughs> um, waiter. <laughs> um, excuse me. Th I think there's glass in my this. GameCube. I want a refund. There's glass in my GameCube. <laughs> that uh, could have been really dangerous. I could have died. Well, from the glass in your GameCube? Mm -hmm. You could have. But you did, so be grateful. Okay, so to, right to focus back for a moment here, yeah. green team looking way better, and we might actually see a slight lead pull ahead here. Relax, making moves. Army wife off stage at the moment. Might live though, yes. Ooh, gets the spike as well. Oh yes, that is two stop lead for green team right now. The dream team? Help the green team call themselves? All right, and now we're even again. Now we're all, all right, down we, we wait, the last We wait, we wait this out. We're all down the last stock. This is where it gets interesting. Oh, nice. I like that they're, like, walling the red team out into the corner here. It's really good. I, I think green team can, like, take this. Nice by Lax. Cleaning up off the top. Great team combo. It's all going to be down right. to tier. A high percentage. Needing a miracle. As some would say. Oh no. This could oh, no. be bad. Don't let Lax die here. Alright. Good shield does end up blocking that missile. Samus will at least get that first hit. A second hit to go through. Alright, we gotta punish High that. Percentage. No. High percentage on everybody. 
here on the stage, but okay. with Samus by himself, oh, he's going to be flying out the back. There we go. We're going to be seeing Lax and Army Life able to win game two, take it to the third and final map of the series. We call them stages, but yeah. They're literally different maps. They're stages. They're, they're different stages. Where, where's You're the on stairs stage? to get on the stage? Huh? Where are the stairs to get on the stage? Where's backstage? Hmm. Checkmate. Hmm. Checkmate. It's a good point. But it does say stage select here. Ready? <laughs> 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 you got a point there. <laughs> hey, I... I'm gonna keep it real. I like calling them maps just as much as the next guy. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just see his habit. Just call yeah. them everything maps. It's like, it's just different backgrounds. It's just a different map. Like. You should watch some TF2 this weekend. There's, a, there's the land going on in Melbourne right now. You should watch some TF2. It's fucking I can't wait really to only aim but to TF2. No, no. They go, they're getting banned. They're all getting manually banned by Valve right now. It's awesome. I doubt it. No, they are. They are. I doubt it. Green team ahead now. Green team, big lead for them. And they're doing extra damage to Samus as well while they're at it. Samus yeah. just hasn't been able to land a blow. Nice. So it's it's one of these things, right, in doubles. You have to be super aware. You have to have map awareness. Map stage awareness. You have to have stage awareness. Stage exactly. awareness. So if your homie's getting owned, yeah. it, you got to, like, be the... you got to be the bigger gamer and... Go over to the other side of the stage and, and help him out. No, you got to help him out. But make don't, sure they don't keep getting combo. Don't they swap stock? Don't they swap stocks? No, no, no. What I'm saying here is that like if everyone's still alive, yeah, right, and your home is getting just destroyed, you can't be worried about boxing out the other player. Yeah. You have to go in and help your homie. Yeah. All right. Looks uh, I'll pick it up where you put it down. Army wife actually could have made it back, but she like did a little drift at the end there and like threw away the recovery. It? It yeah. cooked the recovery? Yeah, she cooked the recovery a bit. It's kind of chill though, because Rolex the Peach is at really high percent right now. That's such yeah. a good down tilt from Max. Alright, we got, like, because, so yeah, Falco's down tilt, really high, like, vertical knockback. It's yeah. re and it's really good against these, like, floaty characters like Peach and Samus. Yeah. So keep an eye out for him. It's when he does this little tail flick, like that one. Keep an eye out for it. We'll do. Lax got the combos. About to put Rolex in the bin, but he's falling off stage. Tid with the clutch missile. Oh, oh no. hang on. Yeah, no, that was the right play. Tid cleans it up, and Rolex lives. It's even in stocks right now, but okay, I take it back. We just need we just need a one juicy knee from Army Wife now. Oh, the bomb interrupts. So yeah, the the knee from Army Wife is what's gonna like bring us back. Doesn't matter. Lex has the bears. Gonna just box out Tid right now. Oh no. Oh no. Accidental friendly fire team combo. Lax could die here. If Rolex cleans up this edge guy, it's all over for the green team. But it's not. He lives. And Lax gets to do a little bit more damage. Has to save Army Wife here though. She's off stage. Gets one more chance to recover. Lax is gonna die though. Gonna be the first one to bow. We have to see a stock trade here. Yeah, stock gets oh handed no! Over. Army wife will be the first to yeah. go down and stay out of the fight. This is really hard to come back with Falco against two tanks. You have to never ever get hit, oh and it's no. just not. Oh, hang on, but a little blunder like that could cost it. Oh, that's that's it. game. Unlucky. That's just unlucky. That's just unlucky. We're we'll seeing Rollick and Tid moving on through so the they, bracket. I think they make top eight with that one. No. No, they got one more game. They have to fight Goody and SA Nick next. Oh no. That doesn't sound promising. Yeah, Goody and SA Nick are gonna be uh, quite a challenge, I feel. It's not promising at all. Quite a challenge, I feel. But hey, look. So that's not ninth, that's like 13th in the bracket. Which that's is not bad. respectable. That's not bad. Respectable. Alright, looks like me and McLeod actually have a match now. Play it on this setup. I'll try my best. So I can yell at Yingling for you. Yeah, please. That'd be great. Do you want me to? Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. That sounds like fun. Koiza. McLeod. McLeod. Do you want to know the story? What story? Of why, um... Cloud is called McLeod. Why that's I'm her fucking gamer tag. 
Interested. So, she signed up for a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in Adelaide. Yeah. And her surname's, like, um, O'Neill. Yeah. And the person organizing the tournament didn't even, like, remember what it was that she signed up as. And she was like, yeah, I put you down as McLeod because I remember you had, like, a name that sounded kind of, like, Irish or Scottish. <laughs> and ever since... Because it's so funny because you're playing you're playing melee which has a character called Fox McCloud yeah. and she plays Peach. Yeah. So that's that's a little tidbit for everyone. A little tidbit? Yeah. All right. Let's All see right. if I can get Yingo and Aiden Good luck. On. There's Aberdon right there, man. I found Aberdon for you. I found Aberdon for you. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. Holding the fort. Damn. Damn. We do get McCloud. And Kai are going to be taking on Yingo and Aberdon McAberdon. Here's where it gets interesting. Here is definitely where it gets interesting. Oh, man, it has been a long day. It has been a long day. Nearly eight hours of broadcast. Can you believe it, Chapter? I can't believe all of you have been here for eight hours. That's crazy. That's crazy. Eight hours. And next up, we got Aberdon McCabe versus uh, Aiden and Yingo taking on Kaiser and McLeod. And we've got a new guest. Hello, mystery guest. Hello. Oh, well, the mystery guest has been revealed. Whoa. I've been doing this for like four hours with you. Whoa, our mystery guest. Not really. Has been revealed. Hello, mystery guest. Hello. What is your mystery? My name is Adalia. That's a wild and wacky mystery. It's like a mystery machine. Yes. Row, row, row. <laughs> what am I to you? I don't know which direction to take this if it's for content or legit. <laughs> Both. I gotta think about this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, they are cute. That's my answer, cute. Speaking of a cutie, we've got Aiden. Hi, Aiden. I hear Aiden's scared to play when I'm commentating. <laughs> you can just see the fear in his eyes. We've got our lovely, our lovely four. We're still waiting on Nick Yingling. <sighs> it's always, it's always Nick Yingling that we're waiting on. Have yeah. you noticed this? Yeah, Yingling is like always like fashionably late. I don't even think he's fashionable. I'm gonna be what honest. What do you mean? I mean, dead drip. It's not dripping. He's, he's not got drip, it's a leak. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> As uh, everyone looks to get situated. It's been a long day for Aiden. He looks tired. This could be the chance for McLeod to get one up. This could be the chance for McLeod to get one up here on Aiden. Or Calvin. Yep. So I swap the colours. The ten colours on the top there. Zelda, Zelda! Zelda, Zelda! Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Ready? Go. <laughs> We're gonna get ourselves underway on the doubles here. We're going to individually take on these fights. Hope this is rock match to start. If that will take the win. 
has uh, a bit of an awkward start here. At least going to be seeing Kai. He's going to lose that uh, first stock early on. He's getting those stocks taken down. Not a lot happening. Eventually, actually, it's kind of lose a second stock. This could be bad. Especially as no one else except Kai has lost stocks here. Finally, we see someone else except Kai losing stocks. We're actually going to see McLeod lose two in a row right there. And that's going to be the game. It's almost a clean sweep. A single stock loss for Yingling and Calvin. As Calvin looks to get hyped up. Let's hope that momentum can carry on in towards this second map. Calvin and Yingling. Here with massive amounts of damage done to Calvin. That high percentage could potentially be trouble here later on. damage being done eventually Calvin will lose that stock we're gonna see eight stocks on towards that green side doubles just before Kaiser ends up losing a stock it's McLeod the only person with all four remaining and as I've said that McLeod has just lost the stock Another big hit coming up. Lee's going to be seeing Kaiser. Getting back on towards that ledge. A much better performance here from Kaiser and McLeod. They're looking good. And the clean sweep, that was that last game. Almost looking to be a distant memory for Kaiser and McLeod. We'll actually just start to see. This one starts to go to the wire. Two stocks on everybody but Yingling. We're actually going to see Yingling lose that final stock. One up hit. One apiece as Kaiser McLeod, their opportunity to keep this to a third game. The Kaiser on high stocks. Kaiser needs to be the one that falls and will. One stock apiece, everybody here on the stage. Eventually we're seeing McLeod finding a fair chunk of damage, but a fair chunk of damage done to her as well. A high percentage. Gonna start to see Peach yet again, another hit. Those Falcon lasers continuing to do damage. But with Peach being flung off the left side of that stage, a hunt down going through. We're going to see McLeod end up falling off. It's going to be Kaiser to at least try to take on the 1v2. Won't be able to make it back to the ledge, and it's going to be a 2 0 win for Yingling and Calvin. The 
Is it all? Oh, it's best of five. We moved into the top eight. Oh, okay. We got best of five now. Ooh, that's exciting. That's very exciting. Uh, I just want to say, I'm not a commentator. I don't come. I'm not great at commentating. Um, I just like sitting here and being with my partner. Dog shit. And sitting next to my boyfriend and just talking in general. He does the commentating. I do the shit talking. That's our dynamic. Um, Checks out. So if I'm not like 100% in what I say or do, um, don't come at me. All right, don't. It's all love. It's all, it's a great time here. Um, if you were looking for like a real serious sort of broadcast, broadcast might have to leave because we're just not, we're not that kind of, I'm not that kind of person and you're sort of matching with me. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that because, you know. High percentages on this green team now. Kaiser McLeod. Well, he's going to be seeing Kaiser. Losing that stock. Down to two. And it looks as if both Yingling and Calvin. Two apiece for that red team. Calvin on that final stock of his. This fight here in between Kaiser McLeod needs to be taken, but it looks as if with Kaiser down on that final stock, McLeod has three. With huge amounts of damage being done. Kaiser wants to find that fatal blow, but high damage. Because we're going to end up seeing Yingling falling off. A stock apiece for that red team as they try to stay alive. Calvin's going to end up bowing out of this one. As it's all going to be down to Yingling. Has to find two players. Eventually we'll find Peach. Down the two stocks, McLeod. These two foxes. Sorry, the fox and the falco. My apologies are going at it. We're going to see Yingling unable to get back on towards that stage. And Kaiser McLeod are going to pick up there first. Could it be a momentum shifting stage right there for Kaiser and McLeod? Aiden gave me a little, a little smile. Abedim, Gabedim. <laughs> he is pretty locked in. I'll give him that. He's usually full of smiles, Ed. And he's just really locked in now. He might have us tuned out. He might have learnt from Thursday. He might have learnt. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to pick a stage, and this is a really difficult decision for Calvin. He's actually having to think about it. Ready? Talking it over with Yingling, we eventually get ready to go. Now with damage all across the board early on, whoever loses those first sort of stocks here could be in real danger, but in the end it depends who is losing stocks and what the percentages are at the end of it. It does look as if we're going to be seeing Kai, the first one to lose that stock. Start to see Kaiser wanting to take on that heavy fight. We'll be going one on one against Calvin. 
as Yingling will bow out, losing that fourth stock. Peach, sorry, McLeod, the early person with all four stocks, and as I say that, a caster curse it. McLeod goes down to three. High damage on towards Calvin, high damage on towards Kaiser. Here we do start to see, yet again, Calvin taken out, down to two stocks. Heavy bits of damage to be done all across the board on that green team. Kaiser McLeod, very, very high percentage Yingling as well to accommodate, but as Kaiser will fall, we're going to be seeing McLeod be flung off the stage. Yingling needs to stay alive here. He's gonna be if he's gonna sit there and allow Calvin to take all the fights, it's understandable, but needs to just be surviving. Can't be in a state where continuing to get juggled there by Kaiser. Kaiser's actually gonna take a stock off Yingling. A big hit coming through as Kaiser trying to get back to the stage. Won't be able to, loses a stock in the process. It's Calvin and Yingling with two stocks apiece to their name. Oh, we're going to be seeing Kaiser down tilt off the stage. We are going to be seeing McLeod leave, and it's all going to be down to Kaiser. The 1v2, three stocks apiece for Calvin and Yingling. And at the moment, it's all going to be down to Kaiser to try and save the day, keep the dream alive for himself and McLeod. Heavy damage to be done. Yingling has taken a beating. Kaiser as well. Calvin, the only person who's keeping it a reasonable percentage. We're going to be seeing Kaiser trying to get back on towards that stage. Will be double kept out of it. We're going to see Calvin and Yingling take it out three to one. That was, um... I had like a little bit of like that last cling of hope for Kaiser and McLeod, but the last cling. unfortunately, unable three to one. get it done. Three one. Calvin so, and Yingo, another day at the office for those two. So they move forward. They move forward in the bracket. And then Kaiser and we'll McLeod. Uh, take a look who they're playing next. Oh, I got a burp. Hold on. Skips and SD, maybe. Unlucky, Kaiser. Not too bad. You did very well. I had like my last little bit of hope. Like, yeah, oh. it was so close. Yeah. Uh, that is. Really yeah. 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 That's like, I, I think the way it was going, that was probably our best game. That first game was kind of rough, I'll be oh honest. Well. Oh no. That's the wrong button. Yeah. Well, hey, we get into top fours very soon. We're getting into top four very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're viewing, pleasure. As, uh, who else is left in? We've got Rules, Yosh versus SD, Skip at the current moment. We've got Rec, MC taking on Lapis and Luma at the moment. Goody and SA Nick. Taking on Rolick and Tid. That'll be an interesting game. There'll be interesting games and an interesting series overall. As, uh, who's moving on tomorrow towards that singles bracket? That is the big question. Do you know what the prize is? No. Okay. <laughs> um, What's the question? Everything. I'm supposed to know everything, but I don't. I'll be honest, Demen. As uh, it looks as if. Interesting. Pools still haven't been completed for singles at the current moment, but. Uh, <laughs> is there anyone I know? Oh, Josh Mann, of course, the number one seed in those singles. Ba, ba, ba. 
Huh? All right, easy. Easy. As uh, doubles seems to be sort of where we're finding a lot more success in, ter in terms of tournament games, chat. I wasn't done. Trying to be the back of the truck. I can't believe I actually like kept in tune and in beat with everything. You got it. I'm shocked. I don't know why you stopped. <laughs> no. Imagine if he laughed at the sound. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Do what? Laugh at the sound <laughs> at the. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No. No, like laugh, but you go like, <laughs> you sing like the. <laughs> Actually laugh. No, <laughs> my voice is cooked. It's gonna come out like. <laughs> 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 it's gonna come out like. <coughs> you got and a smoker's puff of dust is gonna fly out. You got smoker's lung. No. Well, until then. Smoker's we're lungs. We're gonna move into both of them. Both yes. of them. Both of them. Smoker's lungs. It's not, they're not, they're not going to be playing. No. no. Kaiser and McLeod are out. We can clear that one. It won't be, it won't be these two. Right? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Okay. Don't I'll know yet. I'll just keep the left side clean. Don't know. Do you know which game? We have next on stream? No idea. No idea. We it's get what we get. It's whoever's <laughs> going to come up these stairs and then come around to the front. And then when we see their beautiful faces, we'll know. We get what we get. We don't get upset about it. And we just sit here and have fun until then. Exactly. We vibe. We chill. We vibe. We chill. That's what we do. We do things. I'm so flipping cold right now. You have a jacket behind you. I, it's not pretty. So I don't want to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried, chat. I tried. Am I the asshole? For yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me? It's great paint job they've done on this wall over here like good good painting over here like great great painting you can see the brush strokes like they really took care of this wall really took care of this wall you know like great great care of the paint they even had a crack here that they've, they've smoothed over it, it looks it looks great it looks great Looks great, Chad. Looks great. <laughs> no. No. Off. No. <laughs> Get the flip off me. Get the frickety frack off of me. Get You're hurting my feelings. Guys, give us some like questions while we wait for the next bracket. Do you want questions from Chap? I want questions. They're gonna be like Costa start game. Cost the game, Kazi. Cost the game, bro. Wait, Hurry is, this the fuck our, up. is this our people? Probably not. Okay, no. no. Yeah, give us, give us some questions. Give us some something. Give us some questions. Otherwise, we're going to go back to reading Am I the Arsehole? And like, like we were about four hours ago. Yeah. We're going to have to go back really on boring. the Am I the Arsehole bit. It's going to get really boring. Hi, Huey. No. <laughs> Huey! Hey, Huey. Hi, Huey. Hello. You smell like, hey, you smell like beer. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, but you smell like beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chuck is fun. <laughs> yeah, we both, we both thought it was a free play. It was very funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very, it was very funny. I, I didn't <laughs> like, 
It was a good set, though. It's good games. It's very fucking good games. <laughs> very good games. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that, Huey. Easy. Easy. I appreciate that. Thank you, Huey. It's very fun. Is this very your, fun. like, your first, like, 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 this is your first time, like, outside, like, CS, yeah? Yeah. How's, how's you been feeling? I feel very comfortable. It's weird. It's weird. And it's, it's yeah. really chill, and... It's not like people are screaming every 30 social. seconds. It's very social. It's yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Everything online. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's not an online yeah. community. Yeah. It's very offline. Yeah. Yeah. It's very offline community. Yeah. Yeah. Love to see it. Yeah, I'm glad you guys have fun. It's good fun. Thank you, Huey. I love that guy. I love that guy. I love that guy. He's so sweet. You like, I had to you apologize like because, like, I was like, oh, shit, I didn't actually know that this was, like... Now, do you feel bad about him and Nangs losing to Momo and Sammy? No. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked no, up. No, because I wanted them to win. So. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I wanted them to win. That's fucked up. I wanted to... Not even feeling bad. Oh, you are the best. I, mean, I can't drink. Oh, you don't drink? I can't. She's driving. Oh, true. I'm a driver. <laughs> you, know what, you know what my first thought was? What? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> um, I don't think much will happen on this stream because like, Tyler's just like, nearly cleaned up. Like, nearly dead, yeah. yeah. So I've got like four games in lower bracket, two games in upper bracket. Oh, you're just trying to get people. On yeah. Game. That's why we got Kai running around. Oh, Being a yeah, Kai's cool. like. <laughs> yeah, glad you have fun. That's good. Yeah, it's good fun, man. It's good fun. I gotta come down to more of these. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do like a lot of like locals as well. In yeah. Melbourne. They're like not on this scale. Obviously, yeah. It's like a major event. It'd um, be a lot smaller. Like it was done in GG and shit. But yeah, same. I mean, yeah. GG, but we're doing uh, like this. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you're in the Discord now. You've, like, I keep forgetting that this is like inverted. Be, like, so like every time I put my right hand up, it's like the there opposite way. So I'm yeah, just they like gotta play with me? You gotta play the game. I gotta play the game? I gotta get a controller game. first. Not having, <laughs> not having fun. See? Yeah, true. I'm having a great time. True. Alright, glad you guys are having fun. Thank you, Huey. I Thank appreciate you, Huey. the beverage. Bye, Huey. Lots of. Wait. Where's. Wait. Thank Chad. I'll go thank you. I'll go thank you. I'll see him. I'll go thank him. I'll be back. Okay. It's just me. It's just little old me now. Guys, we're, we're waiting for a game. Like, you guys gotta give us some like questions or just something. Give us something, please. <laughs> give me something to do. Like, I don't know what to do. Cause I don't wanna like just not say anything and just stare. <laughs> Oh, never mind. He's back. Thank God. I didn't. I didn't want to be alone for a long time. <laughs> nah, I was coming back quick. Okay. I just went to go thank Chad for the beverage. Stare. I should just stare. Okay. Come on. Is this comfortable for you? I hope we can make this a, a very enjoyable viewing experience. Is this comfortable for you? Because I'm very comfortable at the moment. You're dissociating. I'm like full on death staring. I feel like my soul is being stared to. <laughs> Is this how it feels to be one of those Buckingham Palace guys? <laughs> <laughs> people yeah. walking up to you just being like, hey, can you say skibbity toilet? Can you, can you say skibbity toilet, please? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who rizzed up baby Gronk? It was Livy Dunn. <laughs> why, are you, why are your breath so close to my face, bro? 
That's how that's how the Buckingham no, no, Palace got there. I'll stare into the camera and you just talk. All right. So you know Livy Dunn, right? So Livy Dunn rizzed up Baby Gronk, and then Baby Gronk committed to LSU because Livy Dunn rizzed him up. And then Livy Dunn started rizzing up the number one baseball player in the in the nation. And then Baby Gronk found out and decommuted from LSU, um, saying that Livy Dunn um, was was fake. And then and then Baby Gronk had decided that that because Livy Dunn uh, was cheating on Baby Gronk by not rizzing Baby Gronk up, um, he needed Skibbity Toilet. And so because of Skibbity Toilet, um, Skibbity Bob 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 Yes Yes, Skibbity Bob 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 There we go, got it a break. Just brain roll. Oh, I, I, broke. I broke and just stared at you, just mindlessly fucking. Just mindlessly what? Yapping. What do you mean mindlessly yapping? It was completely planned out. My nails are like growing out. Your nails are growing out? Yeah. I imagine that your nails would grow, yeah. You think it's not normal for your nails to grow? Okay, see what she keeps doing? She keeps attacking me. Nipple attack. Always get some. It's fucked always up. Always get some. It's fucked up. It's not my fault they're some. sensitive. That's fucked up. I got. Instead of nipples, it's sensitive nipples. Sensitive nipples. Uh. What you're doing is fucked up. Because you're attacking me because I'm sensitive in areas and that hurts that's fucked up I'm trying to like move both my eyebrows hold on I can move my there we go Skibidi ba 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 yes yes. Skibidi ba ba de be be. Skibidi ba 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 yes yes. I feel like we need to get Kai to put in a um, like a react to YouTube videos thing just for like the breaks that we have when we aren't getting games. I can't. You know. I can't take my eyebrows. Anyway, yeah. I feel like we need to get Kai to put in like a scene that's just internet browser, but with. Commentator face cam so we can react to YouTube videos when games aren't going on. Mm. And like we can just watch the whole Skibbity Toilet tri trilogy. All three movies. All hour, all like four hours of Skibbity Toilet. You know what I mean? Why? Because it'd be content. Content schmontent. Okay, that's just not a word. Um, that's not a word. That's not a word. Um, actually, that's not a word, and you're hurting my feelings. Don't roll your eyes at that. I looked up because someone was walking And then there. you looked down. That was rolling your eyes. Because you looked up, and you went... <laughs> now she's grumpy chat. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it, chat. You want to do a wordle? A wordle? Is there like a way that we can... Oh, shit. Do we have to change like an overlay or something? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> chat gets bored. Chat gets bored. Okay. You know I can't spell. Yeah, All right. That's fucked up. Okay, so we add... That's real fucked up, actually. So we add... Um, we add a display capture. Uh, That's okay, we'll fix it. Uh, Ooh, uh, all of you are going away now. Uh, wait, Ooh. can you just go up and down with the thing? No, 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 I meant, like, on the thing. <laughs> Is this satisfying, chat? Is this satisfying? Do you like it when I move my hips like this? Um, what was I looking for? That one. 
That one. That's not what I'm after. That is not what I'm after. See. Now I can't find what I'm after. For fuck's sake. It's a display capture, right? Um it might be, I'm not sure. That exists. Uh, see we need um No. Alright, if we do that, then we do this. No, you gotta do move. What? It's Wordle! No, we need the This one. Okay, chat. Wordle unlimited. Chat. <laughs> chat, can you see? I will check on my phone. Okay. Because we need to. Skibbity bub bub bub, yes, yes. Alright, guys, you need to give us a word, alright? Give us a word. I will not do anything until you give me a word. Oh, Wordle? We're doing Wordle. We're doing Wordle. Oh, so we start with penis? Is it technically a word? Yes. Oh, okay. There's a P. Oh, hey, that's penis. a great guess. Uh, all right. Starts with a P. Oi! Nothing. <laughs> a pie word. Horse. <laughs> they still there? No. <laughs> they left off to pie. They left off to pie because it's too hard. I'm, I thought I was cooking though. But it says horse. Try horse. Oh. Heidi. God damn! Teague's cracked. <laughs> Teague's cracked. Thanks, Teague. Teague's yeah. cracked. Penis is the starting word of all time. Yeah. Okay. Penis is all time starting word. <laughs> so we'll do horse. Like, um, look what they say. Yep. Like, like Teague's. Okay. Ooh, there's an E and there's a H. Is this over? What do you mean? Did you turn it off, Aiden? Sorry, what was that? No. <laughs> I couldn't tell through the really shit Australian accent you tried to do. <laughs> no idea. Are you guys playing tournament? It. Okay. Pardon? Wordle will have to uh, stop have to wait. For, the, for a second. There we go. Because. TV turned off. Give us half a sec. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. So while while they fix everything, hi. How's everyone doing? How's your night? I hope your night is going as well as um, as well as mine. My night's been pretty, pretty hectic. Not gonna lie, the night has the night's still young. Uh, we definitely need something. <laughs> need something to do. Um, because they're trying to fix like the monitor and shit. So, don't want to subject you into into that. Are their cameras working? Let's just check if their cameras and everything are working. Okay, so that's working. It's just the screen itself isn't. Okay. Um, you know what? While they set it, while they set it up, 
fight cam, scene two. Intuition. Chat gets bored. Okay. All right. Let's continue with the world <laughs> while they fix, while they fix, while they fix it. Okay. So, no H, no L, no E. Uh, could be. Um, interesting. Oh, is it? It won't be ghost, but I'll just try it so I can get some letters out the way. Is it? <laughs> That's not a word. Um, what other fucking word has an H in it? Like, like starts with like a something H. F H no D H no O H could be O H K H no I H no. Like, what could this be? It could be literally any. Oh, it's C H. What am I doing? Um. Okay. Uh. Haven't tried A yet. Uh. Time. Okay. No. Huh? Oh, are we? So it is a CH word. Cheap. There's no E. Oh no, there is an E. Wait. Why are you dumb? Teague, I don't think you're dumb. I think Oh no, no, yep, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you're not dumb. You're not dumb, you're not dumb, you're not dumb, you're not dumb. You're not dumb. I was like, wait, cheap could be good. And then I'm like, oh, the E is at the end. Go ahead. We didn't break it, guys. I might just wait until, um... Oh! There we go! Yes. Looks alright. Okay. Huge. Thank you, Kai. Kai's the GOAT, and now we get to commentate Yingo and Calvin. So, Aiden Calvin, after breaking the Wii, has decided he's now going to try play on it. He, you know what? I think he's a fake Canadian. Didn't say sorry once for breaking the Wii. I'm just going to say it. Uh, so that's Calvin, that's Yingo, I don't know the other two. You're gonna have to check the bracket. Hold up. Hey boys, what are your attacks? What are your names? Josh and... Razzle and Josh. Razzle and Josh.
Away. The technical difficulties are done. Now they're fixed. All of them are fixed. Hopefully everything is fixed. But we see a stock loss early to Yingo and Calvin. We got someone from the ACT. They play melee out there? Oh, I suppose we got nothing else to do out there, to be honest. We got nothing else to do out there. He's going to be seeing now an interesting contest coming through as... Yingo and Calvin look to try and dominate early here. Rough time staying on that stage will eventually go bye bye. It looks as if we're going to be slowly seeing a bit of an adjustment coming through for Rizal and Yosh. We're actually seeing now. Big, big beatdown coming on towards Yoshi and Rizal. Sorry, Yosh. Yosh and Rizal. With high percentage to be on Calvin. Dingling with these two stocks is going to be more important than ever before. His final stocks coming in for Rai, Zul and Yosh. Looks as if first game may have been decided as Yingling and Calvin, the two international boys, are going to take out stage one. Moving on to this next stage, it's Rai, Zul and Yosh. They need to find themselves a comeback here. See how rude Calvin is by just pointing at Yingling? It's so rude. It's rude to point. You know? Yes, yes. It's so rude to point. And Yingling is like loud. Yeah, Yingling's loud. It's like he doesn't have the face to be loud, you know? Like he's too hot to be loud. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Yingo's too attractive to be loud like an idiot. You know what I'm saying? I know. Calvin, however. He can be loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you agree, Zuckerberg? <laughs> Farming drama for the art. It's my job, man. I'm here supporting content. You know, homegrown local content. Ha! <laughs> 
Clem is funny. I'm not funny. I'm just Australian, there's a difference. As we are going to be seeing here, Yingling Calvin losing stocks as well. Rizal Yosh, they're uh, putting up a better fight than they did in that first stage. As Shout out to Has Daddy Slim. <laughs> That's what my brother says to me. Yeah. That's Oi, what can't. I want something. Oi, I want something. Oh. <laughs> it's just an interesting figure, Has Daddy Slim. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right for Has. I'll be honest, man. Big hits coming out. As Yingo and Calvin not going down without a fight, and they're definitely fighting indeed. Start to see. Last stop coming out for Rizal. Big hits coming through. So we're going to see Calvin's Sheik starting to get to work. Now with Calvin and Yingling needing to get into some work and that high percentage on Rizal, Yoshas has to do at least a little bit of something. But with Calvin going down to his final stock, final stocks across the board, an insane lead by Yingling and Calvin on percentage as we are going to be seeing it all come down to Yoshas by himself, 1v2, 101%. And at this stage, it's not looking good for the boy from the ACT. He's going to be kept outside. He's going to fall off the stage. Yingling and Calvin will pick themselves up too. That's it. Calvin. Aiden, isn't it best to fight? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, our last one just played a best of five. <laughs> our last one just played a best of five. Oh, that works. <laughs> huh? Uh, no, this was the round before you guys. Yeah. It was... Uh, I wrote them down. Uh, it was... Uh, McLeod and you guys. We had 3-1 in the score. You played four. I can guarantee you played four. Watch the bod. Watch the bod, you know. Watch the bod. Really glory. This is like my first one today, bro. He is a bit out of it. What? Thank you, Nicholas. These fucking Americans telling me I don't know how to fucking remember. <laughs> Fuck okay. these Americans. Alright. Alright, man. Alright. 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 Alright, man! Ow. Sorry. That flippin' hurts. Alright, chat. I need you all to smile for the photo chat. Smile! Yeah, it looked fine. Everyone in chat smiled. You all looked very handsome. Okay. Especially you, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. So, can I still use this one? No. Because it turns the capture card off for the Wii. So we can't play Wordle anymore, guys. We got told off. Horrible day in the office. Horrible day in the office. Horrible day, someone said. All right, we're gonna play Wordle, and you guys can cry. Okay. Um. You should put cry as your word for this one.
chase, no. There's no S. Oh shit, my back hurt. Send it. Why not? Chafe. I did it. Huge guess. Huge guess. We're going to go work out if we have any more games on this setup if you want. We'll uh, have a bit of a quick chat. We'll see if we get any more on here. Otherwise, um, yeah, we'll find out. Time. Because I can't play Wordle um, and like show it to you guys, which sucks. Because I want to <laughs> do something with you. I want to have fun. Bring back more. Who's the asshole? I'm down. I'm down to do that. Chat wants more am I the asshole content. <laughs> more am I the asshole content. See, I told you this word like It just it just rocks. We don't know. I wasn't able to find Cal. When so I wasn't able to find Kai. Woo! Oh am I the asshole? For telling my wife she's ruining our sons? Me? I... I 30... This music, babe. <laughs> we did it before. You're going to have to turn it down. Yep. Birthday to... They're singing happy birthday. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Hooray! Hooray! Ooh. Happy birthday, man. I don't know who that is, but apparently it's his birthday. Guys, it's his birthday. Wait, where is he? It's, it's this dude. Th this dude's birthday. It's this guy right here. Not move, Flam. Move. Move it. Ah! <laughs> Aiden is get the shit out of me. Peed out of fucking nowhere. Oh, uh, are we? Are we? Oh, when we just started, and am I the asshole? Yeah, all right, you're sending it though, not me. Aiden, after this one, do you want to do like a quick two minute interview? Just the content. Just the content. Aiden, if you man. win, we'll do it, we'll do it. I've never gone for Canada more in my life. <laughs> 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 I've never appreciated Canada's existence more in my life than okay, I have right now. So. Okay. That hurt in my ears. Sorry. Ouch. Uh, so that's Calvin. That's Yingling. If you go into the bracket, you'll be able to find out. Um, 
It'll be Monkey and Deco. Hmm? Hey boys, what are your names? You, and then just assign them colors for ten games. Assign the characters colors for what their team color is. The four way fist bump gets completed as we're about to head into what's looking to be the winners of this one moving towards top four where this is probably going to be our last game of the night. <coughs> Heavy damage. To be done all across the board. They're blue. Yingling and Calvin are blue. Team colors you're gonna swap to. That's Moth Blue. Big damage to be done. Two stocks left on that Moth, and two left on that Falco there. Of course, that Falco being Monkey. Looking to be an interesting fight. Three apiece. For Yingling and Calvin in terms of stocks. We understand the HUD's a little bit scoffed. Give us a sec. As we are seeing Yingling, he'll be taking a bit of a back seat as Calvin almost looks to join him, but won't quite. Hit the edge of that ledge. Now, two stocks all around except for that Marth of Decker, who's going to be down to one stock. Actually, joining him will be Calvin. Sorry, that took a bit weird, like long, because my brain was like... It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> It's okay. Heavy hit there as it looks as if Decker Monkey really looking to be kept away from this stage. And we're actually going to be seeing Monkey the last man standing. A 1v2 needed will go down and Yingling and Calvin are going to be able to take that first game. As the international imports are showing why they're here instead of how much they paid, and that's good to see. 2,600 bucks for a first class flight for Aiden. Yes. Actually, it was about 10K. I could never go band for band against them. I could never go band for band against them. I'll be honest, man. Actually, my stuff's liquid, his isn't. What are you talking about? So if you have liquidity that means you have cash readily available i don't like this conversation so i'm saying that i would have more money than him in cash you know what i mean no yeah so i'm technically richer than aiden calvin technically my brother is yapping right now i'm not your brother otherwise that'd be weird um <laughs> i think silly big silly Love you. <laughs> there you go. Kiss on the forehead always makes a better chat. Remember that for your spouses. Kiss on the forehead always makes it better. Yeah. And a trip to Mackey's. I don't like McDonald's. Don't like McDonald's? No. Mackey's is so gross. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't understand why... I'm that team kick to keep Yingo in the fight there from Calvin and Yingling. 
Ends up working out pretty well, but Yingling eventually pays the ultimate price down to three stocks. Three stocks apiece for everybody except Calvin. I think that's just because he's Canadian personally, but... Actually going to see Monkey and Deck up. Able to try and get themselves stock leads. It's their individual opponents. However, we're going to see Monkey. He's going to be kept off that stage. Uh, More stocks due, apiece for both teams. Due to popular demand, uh, i.e. one comment on Twitch That's chat. popular in here. Um, <laughs> we will bring back Am I the Asshole content. We, we, we need to get you to find one. Yeah, I already found one. I was about to start how, it. How, and long then it? how long is it? How long Not is it? that long. Okay. It's quite, it's like that shot. Okay, beautiful. What? Oh, I'll interview Aiden after this. If they you through. wanna? Yeah. I think it'd be funny. Is it because you're secretly a fan? Yep. It's not a secret. <laughs> you added me on Thursday, that was fucked up. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave my chair then. Not now. Goodbye forever. What? Goodbye forever, this chat. This is ridiculous. Do you wanna do it? No, it's your, it's your, it's your thing. So what, read random melee players, am I the assholes, and make them decide? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a great bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see how he reacts, because I feel like he's such a reasonable person, he'll actually answer. Yeah. <laughs> One stuck out of all four of them. Marth is out. Marth's out. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, Actually, shit. we're going to see Monkey Decker Fuck both really? out. Jesus Christ. That's too hard. Is this the... This is the best of five, Best apparently. of five, yeah. We're going to see Calvin take a big sip, a big swig of the Mountain Goat, actually. He's feeling it. He's feeling the vibe. He's getting the handshakes. He's getting the little shivers. Breathe, Dude, Aiden. Breathe. Locked he's locked in. He's locked the hell in. <laughs> His smile is so cute. He's so locked in. We gotta get that photo of him playing on LSD. Because <laughs> I feel like it's sort of the same level, but not with the wide eyes, you know? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's sort of that same level. As Deco Monkey. Oh, wow. a big shot. As Monkey goes bye bye. That's great. Who knows, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe. You'll have to decorate a monkey to prove you wrong. Now it's uh, looking to be a big push coming through. Calvin is so fucking good at this game. You reckon? Yes. I reckon he's mid. Are you just saying that because you don't want to admit? I'm in denial. I'm very open about being in denial. We're actually going to be seeing Monkey oh. taken away. Decker as well. Two stocks for Monkey. One for Decker. High percentages for both Yingling and Calvin. We're actually going to see Monkey leave. In a bit of a uh, fiery explosion, still a high percentage on Yingo, but really not looking to take on too many of those fights. And when he is taking the fights, he's taking them smart. Great patience there from Nick Yingling. Why is he called Yingling? His last name. Ah. Yeah. So they both have last, last names, names yeah. as the. Yeah. Well, I can't really use my last name because it's already a character in the game. That's fucked up. I'd, like, change the character's name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd do personally. Yeah, guys, my last name is is legit one of the Super Smash characters. Whoa! Is it McLeod? <laughs> We're going to see Deco Monkey going down. It's a 3-0 win for Calvin and Yingo. Easy, GG's. As, uh, now we have to deal with our contractual obligations. Well, it wasn't technically like contracted yep 
All right. Well, I contracted Abed and McCabe. That was the contract. So now we have to interview a winner's interview with Aiden McCaig. <laughs> winner's interview. Just before he goes to top four on the main stage and leaves the fun broadcast behind forever. He's a lot shorter in person, I will I will say. Yeah, it's because you're small. Everyone say goodbye. We're going to be replacing Adalia with a Canadian. I know, Feral. Aiden, hey, mate. What's up? How are you feeling, son? Uh, I'm a little drunk. A little drunk? Uh, yeah. Does that explain the wobbles when you were in between sets? The wobbles? <laughs> yeah, the Maybe. wobbles, bro. Yeah, yeah, the wobbles, you're like... Ooh. I'm a little cold, too, surprisingly. A little cold? Yeah, it's kind of cold. In say, the I'm like a, fucking... I got like three layers on. I was going to say, if you need a hug... Um, I'm happy to. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna stay warm, I can. Happy appreciate to keep that. You warm. Appreciate I got that. You. I got you, bro. I thought we played. We lost them in losers, so we made it all the way back to them, and, and three out them. So that it's felt good. It's because now you got uh, Irish courage. Yeah. Dutch courage. A little bit. Courage. Irish courage, and we our game plan was way better than the first time. We like, Yingling. Kept, I think like the first time we played them, Yingling was died a few times really early because we kept trying to like. Uh, uh, we were splitting them around. Like I was one v one in monkey and he was 1v1 in Decker and uh, we realized like if we just like double team monkey and because Decker is like a really patient player that like waits and sits and kind of wants you to come to him so anytime he's waiting you can just go double team monkey yeah. and we kind of like talked about that while we were playing the other sets and yeah. then when we came to that set I think we played really really well actually which is nice because I think like me and Yingling haven't played a ton together but our synergy and our synergy isn't like super good because of that. But in losers today, we're playing really well. So yeah, hopefully it goes well. That's in top good. Four. I've got a final question for you, mate. Just yeah. before you go, because I know you're eager to go. Yeah. A bit of a story. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my wife she's ruining our son? <laughs> <laughs> Me, M33, and my wife, F31, have two sons, ages eight and seven. <laughs> she's completely obsessed <laughs> with molding them into people she wants them to be, in turn, sacrificing their childhood. She thinks they're going to be some sports superstars. She's a stay-at-home oh. mom, and her life revolves around their routine. Every school day, she wakes them up at 5 a.m. They run to the park, do several laps, and do exercise and drills. After school, they're booked into sports activities four days straight. Then after that, they have a tutor come every single day. The only day they get to themselves is Sundays. I do agree, uh, uh, I do agree they're excelling at everything, but at what cost? On school breaks, they're booked into a sports camp, which costs thousands. They look, uh, they look like happy boys, but I don't know uh, what kind of trauma this will cause them down the line. I told her to find another hobby apart from the boys, and sh but she got offended. I told her that they're, that they're going to hate her when she's older, and she called me an asshole. Is this normal, or am I the asshole? I mean, I think it's... I would actually say it's, like, somewhat normal, right? It's, it's definitely somewhat normal. I think, like, a lot of people who, like, reach that level of, like, pro athleticism are being pushed by their parents as children. Yeah. 100%. 100%. So it's tough to say because uh, I think I'm someone who was pushed really hard by his parents when he was a kid. And for athletics? No, nah, for academics. Academics. And there's parts of it I regret and, like, parts of it that I think were good. So it's, like, hard. It's hard because you have so many ways to parent. And so it's tough to say if he's the asshole or not. I think ideally when you're married to somebody and you're having kids, this is the type of stuff you talk about beforehand to make sure you're on the same page about. Yeah, so you like, reckon there's not enough communication between both of them? Yeah, it's, it's tough because you've already had the kids, right? But ideally you, like, talk about these things ahead of time. And I do think pushing your kids to some degree is important. Yeah. Uh, but there's definitely a line. And, like, even if you're pushing them to the, this degree to become, like, a professional athlete, you're still in the lottery of them, like, becoming successful. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like, I'm fully aware like it's not guaranteed. So you're still, like, it's like there's no promise of that coming through. And then if you push your kids that hard and they, like, lose, lose, and, like, don't become particularly proficient at, like, what you're pushing them at, then was it worth it? And then I look back on things that I was pushed on or things that were instilled in me. And some things were good. And some things were bad. Or, like, not that things were bad, but more, like, things didn't plan. Like, I can see the way it's, like, translated into my, into my personality. And I wonder if that's good or bad. 
Um, I mean, there's a valid point in chat. How tall are the kids? How tall are the kids? Yeah, and what sport are they playing? That's true. Because if you're making them grind basketball and <laughs> your kids are fucking 5'5", five, five, <laughs> yeah, she's the asshole. Hey, look. Isaiah Thomas was, what, 5'9", five, 5'9"? Five, five, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> talk about the lottery. <laughs> Generational talent, Aiden. All right. I got to go play doubles. Okay, have fun. Thank I you very much for that. the interview. I appreciate that. <laughs> Everything's on me now. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate it. Don't drink too much. And just ignore me. I mean, a valid answer. <laughs> I knew it was going to be funny because the moment I asked it, he was going to like, <laughs> he was going to like answer it genuinely instead of do what Tish did. And bro, that bit worked to perfection. I love that. I love that shit. I love that shit. I love that shit. I think we're all done. Yeah, we can, we can wrap up. We're going to wrap it all up. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen at home, it's been an absolute pleasure to be bringing you hey, Phantom hey, on the side you. stream. Thank you. Thanks, a big everyone. thank you. And thank you. Me? My guy. Oh, my God. No. You, you, brought in, you, you brought in the PC. It wouldn't be possible without uh, it. Sh you brought literally everything else. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. Thanks, this guy. Thank and this thank guy. Huey. Thank Huey. Huey. Thank, thank, thank Huey. Huey. Thank Huey. He's a handsome man. He is a handsome, He's a handsome man. man. He's a handsome man. All right. Um, He's a handsome boy. When's shit tomorrow? I think single starts and at like 11, 12 ish. And thank Adalia. And thank you, Adalia, for holding it down. Thank you oh my for God. holding it down. And everyone um, else who joined me, and Aiden, for answering Am I the Asshole genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him, Am I the Asshole? <laughs> That's <Yeah>. amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Do you need to tell me about it later? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's. let's Let's wrap it up. All Let's right. wrap it up. Peace out, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. I think we'll be back like, uh, what is it? 10 a.m.? Uh, no, no not 10 a.m. 11 yet for watching. All right. Peace out. We're out of here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.